Hi, I'm Ann Myrick, and today I'm going to show you how to arrange your china cabinet. Now, one thing that I am big on is not putting glass, sorry, glass with glass. Um, this has a glass door, and when I see china cabinets that only have many, many times what people will do is people will not add weight. Glasses, clear glasses, do not have any weight with them. So if you put glass in your china cabinet, you're not creating weight. You're not really creating interest. What I like to do with my china cabinets um, or the ones that have glass is I like to put solid colors, interesting pieces, um, bigger pieces in it to create interest and to give color. I have a collection of McCoy, and what I did on this one, you'll see that there's, you can barely see it, but there's an old mirror up here that reflects the yellow back into it. And then what I did is I grouped like colors. Um, when you have a collection that has a lot of different colors to it, you want, you, you want your eye to be able to um, move over it smoothly. And if you had a yellow one and a white one and a green one and a yellow one, you would be really choppy. And so what I did in this is I grouped, I put all the colors in it, but I grouped them together. So as you're looking at it, you see the yellow and your eye goes all the way across and you see the white and then you see the greens and blues. Um, you can put books and really put antique books and um, a few bigger pieces. I don't like to put a lot of little things in china cabinets. Um, you can use a china cabinet as a, an organizational piece, but just play with it and make it look. Sometimes I'll um, leave the door open and then I'll hang a picture or hang something on the door. But then also you can shut it, and when you shut it, you see all the pieces without seeing just clear glass. This is Ann Myrick, and those are ways to work with your china cabinet.